I want to change something in your mindset. And if you can let this sink in, if you can make this change, I promise you, you are going to make a lot more money in your career and you might embarrass yourself if you're single and you like to mingle, you might embarrass yourself a little bit less. Hopefully nobody out there is doing or have, well, maybe we've all probably done this once or twice in our personal life. All of us are doing this in our professional life right now and we're going to fix it and stop doing it right now. But here's what we got to talk about. All right. I want you to think back to if you're not dating anymore, there was a time when you did date. If you're dating people now, you've probably experienced this. Who's had the creepy person that either is calling you or calling one of your friends? Your friend is sharing the voicemails with you and it's like, uh, hey, Susan, um, yeah, we're broken up. Uh, I never even went out with him. Yeah, I'm not going to call you again. And then a day later, hey, Susan, it's Ricky. Uh, hope you're doing great. Uh, Want to hang out this weekend? Um, hey, you, it's over. Or when you were 12 years old at school, having a friend that's like, hey, we're not friends anymore, right? Just little childish things. Who's, who's had, you guys have all experienced this, yes? Who's had a crazy person that's either left them crazy voicemail after voicemail. I'm breaking up with you. We're back together. I'm break. Don't call me again. Wait, do you want to hang out this weekend? Who's experienced that in their life? Yeah, I can definitely speak to this one. I had, uh, what's up Houston? <laughs> I had a guy who called me 15 times in one night and every voicemail was completely different. Oh, I hate you. I'm never talking to you again. Wait, will you please call me back? Hey, we actually, and it's just like, it was just like constant and I ended up walking. <laughs> it's like, I don't know what the word for it is because I'm not a therapist, but like it's some sort of like schizophrenia, is it not? It's excessive. It's like they don't understand social cues. It's just a roller coaster. It's almost bipolar. Like there was a lot of things going on there. I'm not, I'm not sure exactly what. Yeah. Most of us that are, and maybe all, maybe all of us have had a moment of weakness where we've done some derivation of this in our personal lives, right? Uh, maybe not all of us. Why am I telling you this in our sales coaching? I'm telling you this because we have these boundaries, hopefully, and we manage ourselves at least somewhat skillfully where we don't become the person that needs to get their phone number blocked in our personal life, yet we do crap like this time and time and time again. Okay, 7 a.m. We were out of coffee at the house, so I had to go to Starbucks and buy a coffee. I got three of these emails while waiting in the little holding bin where the people are waiting for their coffee at Starbucks. Three of them this morning. Hey, so by your lack of response to my previous emails, I'm, I'm assuming that you don't want to get an inbound stream of leads from your YouTube channel. I don't even know who you are right? Psycho. And even more formally, I've had sales coaching and I thought about this last night. I'm like, there is some garbage out there. I went through a six figure sales coaching program. I'm not going to say the name of the program or the company that paid to send me to it, but I had to sit through all of this sales coaching. So you guys don't have to, I've had to read every book. So you guys don't have to. And here was a piece of garbage that I learned and unfortunately implemented, and it probably cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars, this process of if we don't hear back from somebody within 30 days, we're going to send a proposal withdrawal letter or a proposal withdrawal email. Hey, Jonathan, it's Matt Easton with Easton University. You know, we haven't heard from you. And uh, because of that fact, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and withdraw the proposal. If you're still interested in doing business with our sales coaching program, I'd love to pick up the discussion. Next steps at that point is that what I would like to do is schedule what we call a recalibration meeting where I can, because clearly I've misunderstood something, where I can go over your situations and we'll, we'll requote the deal at that time. That is literally like being a 12 year old and you didn't get invited to the party and calling somebody going, we're not friends anymore. If you are doing any of this, please stop doing it. I promised you I was going to reset your brain. I promised you I was going to blow your mind. You see, I did it three times. I'm going to blow your mind right now.
I'm going to give you permission as your coach right now. I'm going to change your life as your coach right now. You, hi, you can stop calling any prospect you want at any time. You're an adult. And if you haven't screwed up your image, if you haven't sent them a proposal withdrawal letter or an email saying, I guess you don't want to talk to us. You've maintained your reputation, which will allow you to what? To start the conversation again at any time. These emails with, this is the last time I will be calling you. Are you dead? I'm withdrawing the proposal. We haven't heard from you. It's all insecure. It's just like that person that was calling her 17 times in two hours. And I know you're not calling a sales prospect 70 times in two hours. But the minute somebody like myself or you gets and reads an email, your intent is that you think we're going to read that and go, oh my gosh, darn it. I've ignored their emails. I, oh, I feel terrible about this. Let me call them and get their YouTube ad service. We just go delete. And if you send another one, just like in that case where you had to block the number, guess what we do? Block. It's not helping anybody. Stop making people feel guilty for not doing business with you. And if you're withdrawing proposals, you don't know what the hell's going on at that company. Why would you make yourself do extra work? Now, I know some of you are probably having a question right now going, well, what if our pricing changes? If your pricing is in flux, I'm giving you permission on any quote to put an expiration date on it. But the more you lean into, hey, the quote's going to expire, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, you got to buy right now. Hey, I'm calling to just let you know that that pricing expired. The more desperate, the more insecure, the more unstable you sound. I'm giving you permission if the pricing went up to not even say anything and call them and go, hey, does it make sense to move forward with the, uh, with the app? Yeah, it does. Perfect. Let me get you some new pricing because our pricing did change over the last 30 days. See how calm and cool and collected? Perfect. Let me get you some. Get them to already agree and then let them know the pricing has changed. That's not a bait and switch. That's being cool, calm, and collected. Price is not the number one reason why somebody would want to do business with you. Stop trying to throw this stuff in. You're going to lose the deal. You're going to lose the price. Because guess what? They can save all the money in the world by not doing business with you. And when you send snarky little emails, when you leave voicemails like, hey, uh, Susan, it's Matt Easton. I've tried to reach you f four times and I haven't really heard from you. You know, where do we go from here? I'm just, uh, you know, I, the last thing I want to do is be a pest. If you catch yourself saying stuff like that, you're a pest. Hey, Susan, Matt Easton, Easton University, calling to see if it makes sense to put your team on the coaching portal. I'm on my mobile 720-660-3202. Guys, some of this stuff that we teach at Easton University is that simple. And then guess what you get to do when you're not writing snarky proposal withdrawal emails? You get to go out and prospect. You get to find new people. Like um, Pat had it. We can talk about it a little bit more. But Pat had a group and they're like, we don't know what to do. They haven't responded. Let's not get desperate. Let's not get emotional. Let's just hang in there. If you've monetized the deal, look, just remind them, hey, I wanted to let you know this is according to your numbers cost in the company about $76,000 a month. Yeah, we want to follow up in September. You want to follow up in September? Yeah, we got other things going. All right, as long as you're okay with that, I'm okay with that. I'll call you September 3rd if I haven't heard from you before then. Fair enough. And then move on to the next deal. Does this make sense? Hey, if you're a serious sales professional, you're going to want to hear this. There is a way that you, yeah, you, hi, you can double or even triple the amount of money you are making in your sales career within the next 60 days. And it doesn't involve you having to look for another job. It doesn't involve you having to lower your prices or convince your company to give you the entire world as your territory. If you work in sales and you simply employ a more straightforward, a more practical, a more powerful sales process, it is very, very easy for you to double or even triple the amount of money you are making. How do I know this? My name is Matt Easton. I'm the founder of Easton University as the most effective sales coaching in the world. Don't take my word for it. We have over a thousand video testimonials from people just like you that have doubled and tripled their income. Here's how Easton University works. 
you're gonna have access to an on-demand learning portal. It's gonna feel like you and I are having a FaceTime call together. I'm gonna walk you through everything from prospecting, cold calling, what to say in an email, how to respond, Everything you'd ever want to know about your sales career and taking it to the next level is in the on-demand interactive learning portal. But the magic doesn't stop there. Twice a week, you're going to be able to join live coaching with me. You can bring any questions you have. I'll give you answers. Any challenges that you're facing right now, I will work with you every step of the way to take you to the next level. You're going to be able to hear questions from top performers that are making 500,000, 750,000, even a million dollars a year in sales. This is a very supportive community that you are now going to be a part of. Easton University is more than a learning portal. It's more than live coaching with me. It's more than being a part of the most supportive, most professional sales community on planet Earth. It's your future, and you and your future are worth it. If you want to take your sales career to the next level, click the button to learn more.